It seems like I heat up for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm thankful and blessed about it. How did you, I mean, Belcher, you got the sacrifice fly, you got the RBI single there. I mean, you'd seen him last weekend, and, and it made good contact on him there, too. Uh, last night, I was in a situation, in the same situation that I didn't come through. So, uh, again, you know, I don't like to fail twice in those situations. So, that was just like in my mind. Don't try to get big. Just had two strike approaches, just get some there. How about that squeeze play? It didn't work first on that, but then you made up for it with the hit. I was kind of mad. It was, it was a tough play, but I mean, on that, we practice it every day. That's something you got to get did. At least try to follow it off. And I tried my hardest, too. So, but the one thing you can't do about that, about that situation is get pissed off and get mad and then try to do too much. So I try to stay within myself. And do it they, again. they must have suspected something because they threw you a really low pitch in that squeeze situation. I mean, in the last weekend of the series, I bunted a lot of them, so I'm pretty sure they thought maybe something was coming. Mm -hmm. But what you hit the next time when you got oh, it? was a fastball. And they've been throwing me in a lot all night, so I, I back up, play a little bit, and decide to go to uh, actually pull the ball for once. I heard Baseball trick. fan will, tell, will say, you know, corner outfield is corner outfield, but you were out in right field tonight. Just talk about the difference in perspective for you to play in left and right. Uh, that's not really a difference. I mean, the only difference is the, the lights are here a little, a little high, the ball gets in a lot. But last year, I played a little bit of right, so it's, it's no biggie to me. You and reporters say uh, after the game, uh, might as well win the whole thing. So, okay. Uh, he's repeating that from last year. Last year, we started out 2 0, and then everybody said we might as well win the whole thing. So, I, I guess that's kind of our phrase this year again, might as well win it again. You and Derek really helped the pitchers out because y'all went and foul territory to make some catch. You robbed some balls that might have fallen. I mean, Derek, we got pretty uh, pretty good speed, but uh, I'm not even the what, third fastest on the team. It's, I get good jumps on balls, but Derek and uh, uh, is it uh, Britton and um, Jacob, they're the fastest on the team. We all just get good jumps on balls. What's on the foul ball you? out here, like on the first baseline, did you kind of deke that guy? Because I think he thought it was out of play. I didn't deke him. Frazier didn't deke him. They deked him on double play to make it like it was double play. And, and, yeah, and you were able to get him. Yeah, it seemed like you were more shot than anything. There was no way for a like I just, I, I was gonna try to run to the first base because I, I knew the guy was fast, but then I seen Pollo Jones, so I was like, I might as well give it up. It's almost like he forgot the out count because he just kind of stands through over there second, then you make a move back. That's what happens when you get deep. You think you're gonna turn a double play, so you never know. So a good deep to the guys like this, so it made it easier. Right? Just talk about this team's resiliency. You just keep coming back, extra innings, last innings. Y'all are totally comfortable in these situations. I think this just has a lot to do with our, uh, our fall workouts, the way we work. We work. I believe we work harder than anybody uh, in the SEC when it comes to waste. So we get pushed enough to the limit so there's no coming back so I, I feel like that has a lot to do with it. Y'all could have got really frustrated when Pirtle got robbed because replay showed it was a fair ball landing the grass and, I, and even though he came back and scored y'all held the line and kept it even. You just got to keep your composure. I mean things like that go happen. It's baseball. It's a crazy game so you stay calm and just keep playing. The so the question is after the collision at third base are you all right? Yeah I'm all right. I mean I'll be a little sore but uh, it's nothing more that I've never, never played through so I'll be fine. Did you know